Want to know the secret to upselling your client from their initial budget? Listen to this story. So while doing an open house a few years ago, I had a couple come through my open house where they were looking through the home and it really was not what they were looking for. The home was listed for three and a half million dollars. And so as I begin to go into my discovery, finding out what it is they're interested in, um, you know, they didn't have an agent with them, which I thought was great. That's another story. But, uh, but as we were talking about things, as they're describing that they wanted new construction, the home that I was sitting was brand new. And um, really, the style of home they wanted, this didn't fit the bill. Um, the layout of the home, where they wanted to technically be in Paradise Valley, uh, Arizona. And so as they're explaining these things, in my head, I'm like, check, 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 check. I literally think I have the perfect home for them. But before I bring them to this home, I need to do some groundwork because the home is twice the price. And so this is where really good salespeople understand that in order to get somebody to move on something, if you set some ground rules before doing so, you get the commitment. But you gotta qualify it first. So this is what I did. I actually I actually positioned it to where I didn't want to take them to this property because I wanted them, if they could afford the property, which I didn't know if they could, I wanted them to like want to see it, right? We talk about scarcity. So what I said was this. I said, listen, what you're describing, I think I have the perfect home, but I'm scared to show it to you. Why? Well, I don't want you to think I'm upselling you, but the property's about twice as much as this one and I don't want you to think I'm just selling you. And that immediately let their guard down. What they instantly thought was, that's very nice of you. Because if I would have just brought them to the home and then all of a sudden they're like, how much is this one? And I say seven million, they're like, whoa, they're blown back. What they were walking into, they knew it was seven million. I didn't even have to, I didn't even have to talk about that in the future when I took them to this home, if they were willing to see it and, and they could afford it. I didn't have to bring that up again. Everything got crushed with that one sentence, from their guard becoming down so I could openly discuss, to them liking me more, to them knowing they're walking into a $7 million home. It all got defeated by one simple statement. I think I know the perfect home for you, but I'm afraid to show it to you. Why? It's a lot more expensive. How much is it? It's twice. And I don't want you to feel like I'm pushing you or whatnot, but what you're describing is gonna be more than three and a half. I think I have a, a perfect house, but I don't want you to think like I'm trying to upsell you. And they were like, no, no pressure, not at all. It made it like a reverse. Hey, no, it's all, it's all good. We, no worries, we understand where you're coming from. Thank you, thank you. So I got them. I loosened them up. They knew that going into this home, it was seven million. But I also knew what they were describing, it was gonna be perfect. So we take them to the home, uh, and it was almost completed very close to being completed. And within 20 minutes, he turns to me and he goes, I love it. I go, I thought you would. I was just afraid because I didn't want you to think like all of a sudden I was pushing you from three and a half to seven. And quite frankly, I don't know your scenario on what your budget is. He goes, no, it's absolutely perfect. And, and we can make this within our price point. I said, great. So I ended up contacting the builder who I was representing and I explained the scenario. We ended up sitting down and they requested a few contingency items to go into the property, and we ended up making the deal happen. But I want to go back to the scenario from the very beginning and think about how this could have really gone wrong, or in most cases, it, could, it, it would have gone wrong. Let's say they're in this home that I was sitting, three and a half million, and let's say one, I just decided like, if I asked them flat out, what's your budget, what are you trying to, to keep your number at? Odds are they probably would have said, I don't know, four or five million tops, right? Something along those lines. And I wouldn't have even thought of this home. Or I wouldn't have put them there because I would have thought that if they're four to five, I can't show them seven. I said, hey, I'm afraid to show this to you because, and they said, why, how much is it? I said, it's double, and they committed that they were okay with that. There was no preconceived notions on my part on what I should or shouldn't be showing them because they told me it was okay. I teed that up the right way. The other thing that could have happened was, 
I said, look, I got the perfect home. It's a little bit more expensive. Would you like to go see it? I go take them to the home and it's not a little bit more expensive. It's double and then they're upset with me because I set unrealistic expectations. Everything I did, I set it up front from the very beginning to where I made them want to see this home. I had them commit that it was okay in that budget price point. So when they're driving to this home, I guarantee you, because it was two miles away from, from the one I was showing, maybe a mile and a half away from the one I was showing them, they're in the car and I'll bet you they're like, you know, if we love this, could you go to seven? Are you okay with seven, babe? Yeah, I, if it's perfect, I'd go to seven. I knew it had to be perfect. It had to be perfect to go to seven, but it was perfect. It was exactly what they were describing. But on their way to the home, I guarantee you, I wasn't in the car, but I guarantee you they were talking about, would you be okay spending seven if this home is perfect? In that five minute car ride, they convinced herself, if they, they agreed with each other that if the home I'm about to show them is perfect, they're okay with a $7 million budget. And it was all done by teeing it up the right way and saying the right things before just either taking them to the property or deciding maybe I shouldn't take them there because it's out of their price point. That's how you upsell. You upsell by giving them something to say, listen, like, let's say someone's budget's $500,000, okay? What they're describing, they wanna be in a better school district. They want a little bit bigger of a home. And we're looking at houses that are in their budget price point. So we're touring at 475 to say 550. And as we get to the swing of things and knowing what they really want, we say, listen, I wanna be honest with you. What you're explaining is gonna be extremely difficult. But I have a question and I don't want you to take this the wrong way. Can I be open with you? That's how I would start the discussion of upsell. Don't take this the wrong way. Can I be open with you? I want to get them to commit that I'm about to make a statement and that they're okay with that, but I'm prefacing in the sense of, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, right? I'm teeing up what I'm about to say. I don't just say it. When I go into upsell, I have to, there's certain things I have to say in order for me to express the things that I want to express because it could be taken the wrong way. Yeah, of course, it's fine. Look, what you're looking for is going to be exceptionally hard. What I don't know is I don't know what you're comfortable with. You're saying between 450 and 550. And what you really want is if you give me to the opportunity to get to 700, which again, I don't know if you're comfortable with that. If you do, the world is gonna open up to you. But you gotta ask yourself if you're comfortable with that. And if you're not, the reason I asked you if you're, if you're okay with me saying this, I don't want you to take that the wrong way and I don't wanna make you uncomfortable. All of a sudden, they feel sorry for me for having to apologize for asking this question. There's empathy there. So now it's okay. It's okay to be straightforward. They're not gonna take what I have to say the wrong way. So then I, but what I'm getting at is by saying it that way, it's a knockout question in the form of sympathy. Don't take this the wrong way. Would you mind if I asked you something? And the reason I asked you that question is because of this. Now, here's what I find out with that question. They either can or they can't. Because if I tell them the world opens up, don't take it the wrong way, are you open to the concept? Yeah, we actually are. We can probably stretch to there. Or they say, that's just too far out of our price point. Fair enough, fair enough. Again, my job is to guide you in the right direction and to make sure what we're looking at doesn't set the wrong expectations. But if that's what you really want, I think that's where we need to be. But I'm teeing all of this up in the forefront. I'm teeing all of it up in the forefront so we can have an open discussion without anybody feeling as though that they're being attacked or I'm trying to upsell you. These are discussions that are very sensitive. So when we tee these discussions up the right way by, um, by more asking certain questions prior than what we're trying to get to, by, by taking sensitive topics and kind of doing a fair warning signal to the clients of, do you mind if I do this? What are your thoughts about this? Here's, because the more that we get their mind thinking of, yes, that's okay, great, but this is why I said it. No, it's fine. We appreciate your honesty. We appreciate your openness. If you just come at them and say, look, I'm sorry, but what you're looking for, you really got to be at $700,000. They're, they're, they're going to be, well, we don't have a $700,000 budget. So if I just openly come out and say, guys, I got to tell you what you're looking for, we really need to up the budget to seven hundred grand. Well, we don't have a $700,000 budget. Like, that's combative. If you just simply tee it up the way I teed it up, 
we get to solutions, they either can or they can't, and they're not offended. In fact, they're like kind of like, it's okay, you can talk openly with us. Like, that's a great relationship. I always said, it's not what you say, it's how you say it and when you say it. And if we have that mindset that some of the things we say, we have to make sure that we're doing it in the right order, in the right fashion, and saying it the right way, we're, we're, gonna, get to this, we're gonna get to a certain point. But before I get to point C, I gotta make sure I tee up point B. I can't go from A to C because it's just not the right timing yet. So just think about that. And when you do, I think that you'll have a much better opportunity to upsell your clients if and when it becomes necessary.